Hello, good morning everyone. I am Dr. Vinayak, Department of Botany, SPS College, Bantwala. So in the today's class, we are discussing on a topic, Lycopodium. So in the previous classes, we have discussed the other group of pteridophytes. So that is a xylotum we have discussed and general characteristic of pteridophyte that continue with the next chapter that is a Lycopodium. So Lycopodium is commonly called as club moss. In the today's class, we are discussing on account on general account introduction and classification and occurrence of the uh, Lycopodium. So it's commonly the Lycopodium is growing in a moist shady places. Coming to the general characteristic of Lycopodium, uh, the sporophyte, that's a plant body, is herbaceous, erect or sometimes it may be a creeping stem. The stem has single uh, protostyle covered with the microsporophyllous leaves without ligulate. The microsporophyllous means these are the small leafy like structures they present on the main stem but the ligule is absent. The leaf has a single vein. So usually the sporophyll with sterile foliage leaf may be similar or that may be a dissimilar and sporophyte compact and loosely arranged on the main uh, stem of the plant body. Each sporophyll has a single sporangium on the upper side of the leaf or the tip of the leaf. So usually the sporangium, sporangium is developed from the eusporangiate structure. So that, that means it will be developed from the superficial cells of the uh, stem and usually in case of the lycopodium these uh, sporangium or the homosporous that means they produce a uniform type of the spores. The gametophyte is monoecious and exosporic in nature and it is uh, uh, substantially or partially exposed to the outer surface and the gametophyte is usually associated with the mycorrhizal association. So this is the general characteristic of the Lycopodium. Coming to the classification, the division Pteridophyta, subdivision Lycopsida and the order Lycopodales and the family Lycopodaceae, the example is Lycopodium. So usually the Lycopodium, uh, what I told, there are about more than 400 species of Lycopodium are in the all over the world and commonly these uh, Lycopodium uh, grow in tropical and subtropical uh, regions. Especially in India, there are about 33 species of Lycopodium are present, especially they grow on the moist areas of the country that is especially in Himalayan region and in the South Indian hills. So usually high altitude or the moisture uh, containing region or the main habitat of these Lycopodium. The common species of Lycopodium are Lycopodium cernum, Lycopodium clavatum, Lycopodium campylatum, Lycopodium plagmaria. So these are the some common species of the Lycopodium. So usually they required high moisture content and also the organic matter for their growth. Usually the Lycopodium sporophyte is various with their habitat and usually especially the tropical uh, species have the branches and sometimes they may be epiphytic that time they are the pendulous in nature. So that's a Lycopodium plagmaria is the best example and in some of them are they grow on the soil itself and usually they are look like a uh, creeping in nature that's the Lycopodium clavatum and also the Lycopodium cernum they, they grow as a creeping in nature so what your picture is looking that's a Lycopodium plagmaria that's commonly grow in the uh, epiphytic uh, Lycopodium so usually they grow up on the other stuff this is the terrestrial one that's the Lycopodium cernum and the Lycopodium Clavatum, they are erect or prostrate in nature. This is Lycopodium volabile and some other species. Coming to the morphologically, the sporophyte or the plant body of the Lycopodium is differentiated into root stem and the leaf regions. 
as already i told these are the great variations in their habitat so that's why the lycopodium are divided into two subgenera that's the eurostachia and also the rafelostachia the eurostachia is characterized by presence of erect pendant in nature and dichotomous branching roots arising from the base of the plant body and usually foliage leaves are the sporophyll or approximately on the same size or uniform size the sporophyll is not organized into a compact cone structures and the vegetative reproduction is by the means of bulbils example uh, for this group is a lycopodium plugmaria is a best example for the eurostachia next one is a another group that is a rafelostachia so usually rafelostachia the mainly presence of prostate stem bearing the upright branches one character and dichotomous branching confined to the first formed branches and later they are monopodial in nature and usually they consist of the adventitious uh, root uh, they are uh, arising from the prostate stem the sporophylls are smaller than the foliage leaf and usually sporophores organize into strobili and vegetative reproduction never takes place by means of bulbils so in the in case of eurostachia so usually the vegetative reproduction by means of bulbils example for the rafelostachia are the lycopodium clavatum lycopodium jensinium so these are the some common species of the lycopodium so in the picture what you are looking that's a lycopodium obscurum and also the lycopodium cernum the tip of these um, sporophyte consists of the long uh, yellow pale yellowish color uh, sporophyte structure the center picture is showing the uh, cross section of this sporophyte with the spores these are the lycopodium clavatum and lycopodium anatom or species and uh, this is about the general characteristic morphology and habitat of the uh, lycopodium